Coffee chat day 59, sit down, grab yourself coffee, and enjoy the vibe. So yeah, uh, we're nearly at day 60, I don't know what I'm gonna do for that yet, but hopefully I'll be able to come up with something before tomorrow. Uh, in all honesty, it is probably just gonna be a live stream of me drinking coffee, but I'll try and get like, well, the coffee I drink nowadays is latte, right? But for tomorrow, I'll go make, like, black coffee because usually it takes me, like, a little bit longer to drink black coffee. Because, like, with a latte, it's, like, very easy to just chug it down. But with, like, black coffee, it's a lot harder to do that. So, yeah, we'll probably just end up doing that. Also, there's been a slight change uh, for anyone that watches the Bible reading videos. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing... Hold on. I want to set up the camera angle right. Uh, for the Bible reading videos. Uh, as of recent, I just have not been happy with the quality of my like notes and stuff when like I'm doing those videos. So what I'm going to do now is turn them into shorts just because I feel like that works better with my goal with those videos. You get me? Like, I mean, that sounded very unaffirmative, but yeah, the goal I have for those Bible reading videos is just to get the word out there. So what I'm going to be doing is doing shorts because they got a lot more reach and yeah, just hope that I'll be able to achieve the goal that I want to achieve with them. This doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop talking about religion in like these more full length videos because quite honestly, like I do think religion is a big part of what I try to teach, essentially. Well, not what I try to teach, but like... I want to try and point people in the direction of religion. Just because that has genuinely helped me a lot. And I want other people to... Know just how helpful it is to actually believe in a higher power. And to live your life in accordance to that faith. Because it is genuinely like a very life changing thing. Like it's very powerful. Also it's so weird like. Actually recording videos like two days in a row just because I have not been doing that recently so like actually being able to be in that sort of flow state of like okay we're getting back in the groove of things like that has me very excited but like you know I don't want to speak too early or otherwise I might jinx it but you know like I, I like to think that this is a good thing like we're getting back on the we're getting back on track right but you know, like, again, don't want to jinx it. But the future looks good. That's all I'll say. And I got, like, a bunch of video ideas written down. Uh, because last week, like, last, not, the Saturday before last, I was like on the bus, right? And during that whole bus trip, I just wrote down video ideas. So now I have like a bunch of them in my notes app that I can just like pull from and like record those. So hopefully we'll be able to get like a bunch of those videos recorded today. And then over the next few weeks, we'll be uploading them. And yeah, that'll be pretty sick.
because that's what I did when I first started like the coffee chats, right? Like I'd record a coffee chat and then I would record like seven videos after and just have them all on like the Google, like on my drive, right? And then I would, you know, take them down, upload them and like, I like that cycle because like it was very easy to just upload videos when you're recording well when they're already like all recorded sorry <laughs> this is my first coffee today again so like I'm sort of out of it and like I did wake up well I woke up like an hour ago right so like I'm still sort of like a bit fuzzy in the head so don't be surprised if I'm like tripping over words and stuff just because well, already, that's just something I do. But also, I am just awake, essentially. <laughs> my whole body, well, not my whole body, but my body hurts a lot from the workout yesterday. I, I didn't think I worked out that hard like I thought it was a very weak workout for me but apparently I'm wrong because like my chest and my shoulders and even parts of my back are just hurting right now but hey like I I sort of like the pain from like training hard there's just something about it that's like very comfortable in a weird way Like, you get sore from a workout, and then the next day you're just chilling, and it's just like, oh, it hurts so bad, but at least I know I did the workout. <laughs> you know, like, it's sort of that sort of thing, right? It's sort of that sort of thing. Wow, I... <laughs> the, the... Yeah... <laughs> The English proficiency today is very much struggling. <laughs> I was actually uh, using the Smith machine yesterday because my gym got a new Smith machine like last week and while I was using it, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go for a new bench PR because I thought that using a Smith machine would basically be the same as just using like a barbell. But as it turns out, I was very wrong about that. And the, like, you know how Smith machines have like the, I don't even know how to describe it, but they have like the little pokey outfits that you kind of like oh for people that don't know what a smith machine is it's like a barbell that moves on two rails and you can sort of like do that and it slides like these hooks onto like things i don't know what they're called but essentially you can like you don't need to use a spotter essentially because you can just rack the weight at any moment but as i found out yesterday there is a small, like, the size of my torso. It's, like, just small enough that I can't hook it onto, like, the hooks that... How do I even describe it? I can't hook it onto the hooks that are above my midsection. <laughs> like, I'm just, like, I'm just that tiny bit too small for it. So... What ended up happening yesterday when I tried to go for a PR was I got crushed under it. And that was not very fun. Because <laughs> I weigh like 60 kilos. So being crushed under like 92.5 kilos was not a very fun experience. And I still have like marks on my like lower abs. Just because I tried to like scooch out from underneath. And then I realized, oh wow, I am not getting out of here. I am, I am stuck. And that was a very 
not fun experience. <laughs> Uh, thankfully some dude that was working out right next to me was like, all right, yeah, I'll go help him. After he finished his set, of course. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know, I was stuck under there for like, well, well. <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, after he finished his set, he went and helped me, but I was stuck under there for like a good few seconds, I'll just say. Like, it was a very not fun time. And honestly, I don't even know if I prefer, like, the incline over just using a regular barbell. Not, I don't know if I prefer incline. What am I saying? I don't know if I prefer the Smith machine over using just a regular barbell yet. Because again, yesterday was my first time using it. So, maybe I'm just inexperienced. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. And that's why I ended up getting hurt. But, you know, it's like... I think I do just prefer free weights. Just because it's a lot more fun. And like, you recruit more muscles up that way, I suppose. Like... You can get some good back work in by doing bench because your last work is like stabilizer muscles. I don't know, like, yeah. I'll try it again, like, next time I go in. Just because, like, I feel for incline bench, it is probably good. But yesterday when I was doing incline on it, I didn't really feel like my upper pecs. I just felt like, honestly, I felt like my arms were doing most of the work, but that could also just be because of how I lift weights. I tend to be very aggressive with it. So maybe like my arms were taking over because I was literally just punching the bar up in a way. <laughs> I think that's genuinely one of the best feelings though. Like when you're underneath a barbell and you're just chucking that weight up. Like you feel it, like you feel the plates on the side sort of like move a bit when you're at the top and it feels like just light. I like that feeling because it's just very fun to almost throw the weight up. I don't know if that was caught on camera, but I just licked the side of the cup because there was like coffee dripping down. That is probably disgusting. I should not have done that. <laughs> but hey, like if that is on camera, there you have it. <laughs> Weird, that cup of coffee felt very watery. I won't lie. So yeah, uh, there's the coffee done. So yeah, that's everything I have to say today. Thank you for watching and keep running when no one else is.